Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the House Code Gamer. The manhunt begins with the Kleons and a special starship. Well, kind of, sort of. We have identified the Federation prisoner you've been chasing. His name is Franklin Drake. Some of our sources say he's a Starfleet intelligence agent. But there are hints that he's much more. From what I can tell, he's not part of the normal chain of command. Previously, we didn't have any images or genetic samples from him, which is why he was so hard to identify. Now, we'll be on him the second he shows his face again. We already have a lead for you to follow. Records indicate a Klingon shuttle entered space above the Rura Penthe penal colony. That system is restricted, and there was no traffic scheduled for today. You are authorized by the High Council to approach the system and determine if Drake is there. Bring him back alive, if you can. As for the special ship, it is the Klingon D-4 Raider from the Kelvin timeline. I'm not a fan of this design, mostly because it looks so... Well, it looks like it belongs in Dead Space more than it does in Star Trek. I will let the... This is Warden Katak of the Rura Penthe Penal Colony. You do not have authorization to land. Turn back now. Any attempt to violate our security perimeter will be met with force! As I was saying, I'm just gonna let the voice actors do all the talking. At least for this part. On the ground, I will be more liberal in my speech. Our authorization comes from Chancellor Jimpak himself. It is unwise to stand in the way of his representatives. Unless, of course, like to become a resident of your own prison. My apologies, Kalekanes. I am honored to meet you. What do representatives of the High Council seek at Rura Pente? There are no Federation Corps on Rura Pente. Are you aware enemies of the Empire should be killed, not fed and coddled like infants? It appears the spy is as good at getting into prisons as he is at escaping them. Check your sensor logs, Warden. He is here, somewhere. Our security logs are checked every quarter hour as per regulations. There have been no transfers in or out of the colony within the last day. Only two ships have entered the system today. Yours and a Klingon shuttle. Shuttle left the system hours ago. You are still here. Your arrogance is tiresome, Warden. Produce your sensor logs at once. Our logs clearly indicate the shuttle left the system hours ago. And there have been no transfers. All prisoners in this colony are either accounted for or dead. Your trail has gone cold. Ready to beam down on your command, Captain. There is a magnetic field covering the entire penal colony to prevent prisoners from escaping via transporter. We'll have to beam down to the outskirts of the magnetic field and walk to the entrance. You'll notice a few uh, changes. Mostly the fact that I've gotten my hands on some reputation equipment. Where do you think you are going? I have business with the Warden, buddy. You may have crossed the magnetic shield, but your visit is unannounced, and you will follow protocol. No one simply wanders around this prison. I will escort you to the Warden. I'll outrun you. you. Follow me. Guess again. Now, in case you're wondering, Kagan has his hands on the Disruptor biomolecular Rifle. Warden, 
The visitors are here. I can see them, Rogas! Your presence here is unnecessary. The only Federation citizens on Rura Penthi are frozen into the ice. But don't let me dissuade you from your manhunt. Just doing my job. My guards will stay where they are. If there was a breach, it would have tripped the alarms. Our security system is quite advanced. This is a prison, after all. But please, examine the security system for yourself. If you refuse to accept the word of the prison's warden, that is. Look. He went straight to the Rurapenthe system. That Klingon shuttle probably falsified your records. Well, screwed with your sensor systems. Landed and Drake probably walked into the prison. And no offense, but Rurapenthe is a bit of a uh, open box. After all, Archer managed to gotta get out. Kirk and McCoy managed to get out. <laughs> You're gonna have hard, a hard time justifying this place's reputation. You dare to question the honor of a warrior of the House of Torg? You may be representatives of Jempak, but you'll taste my blade if you insult me again. Oh, I'm so intimidated. Go, see for yourself. You'll only find the Padak dumped here to rot. Follow me to the general holding area. Yeah, in case you're wondering, I use the Thompson on every tune. Tune meaning character, of course. And I bet you're asking, why? Well, for one, I have to deal with the Borg. And, honor or not... Take one of the Jackal Mastiffs with you to sniff out treachery. There is such a thing as, uh... Interrogate the prisoners, Captain. One of them may have spotted the fugitive. Well... Even Klingons aren't stupid enough to get into melee combat with the Borg. Melee is a last resort. And only if you're not, well, human. Human? They come from Earth, right? We got nothing to talk about. Are they going to retry my case? Yeah, that's not likely. You're doomed. If this is about that stabbing, I don't know anything. I have not seen a human here. I believe someone is following you, Captain. Turn around. Hello, Kimtar. None of these prisoners will help you. They can sense danger far better than you can, and they know the risks of getting involved in a fight that's not theirs. True! It's kind of like Starfleet, in a way. Because I'm not a Batak, like the Warden and his cousin. Have you asked yourself, why would a human come to Rora Pente? Information or prisoner extraction? The human is here to extract a prisoner. There are no other alternatives. If he was coming to kill someone, then he's a call. All he needed to do was wait. Everyone sent to this hole dies. Most are dead within a year. Not unfair. Are you questioning my honor? If you think you're safe because you hold a weapon, you're mistaken. The only thing standing between you and a cold grave is my patience. And seeing as you're the son of Worf, I'm... well... Let's be honest, Alexander took a few hundred levels in badass in the last 40 years. Someday I'll teach you a lesson for testing my resolve. The human is here, but it is a complicated situation. You must do exactly as I say. We are surrounded by enemies, and you will need my help to survive. 
And why do I need your help? The only crime I've committed was thinking there could be peace between the great houses. And all you need to know is that I am a Klingon warrior with the information you need. Follow me, and I will take you to the one the prisoners call the Worm. The Worm is over by the mine entrance. And the Worm is most likely Drake. Actually, it is Drake, but... Oh, who am I kidding? There you are. I was wondering if I'd lost you. Don't try to play coy with us. You have the subterfuge skills of a wounded tar. Did you think no one here would notice a new prisoner? Or that no one would notice when you tampered with the air exchanges? He's a Section 31 agent. When he wants to be stealthy, he's stealthy. He's not bothering. I see you found a new friend. Look, if I had the time to explain, I would. But I'm on a tight schedule, and you took your time getting here. If you want to know what's really going on, you'll have to ask your new friend. I need to be going. Wait, what? Follow him! He's running for the surface! How fancy. Whoever well, Repente has seen some modernization over the years. They really decided to take some inspiration from, uh... Star Trek sex fix for this one. I know, I could be using the Terran rifle, but the Thompson is better for crowd control. Hurry, we have to stop him! The worm has slithered to the surface. We need to stop him before he can reach the edge of the magnetic shield. I promise that I'll explain everything once we track him down. All right, let's go. The human is trying to cross the ice. We need to hurry before he gets outside the magnetic shield. He has a shuttle, so that's pointless. In that case, we don't have any time to waste. It will be difficult to track his movements in this flurry. Send the dog. Those were wild jackals. Keep a lookout for more. They travel in packs. 
How can they survive on the surface? They must feed on the corpses of dead prisoners. Logical. But I have a s better question. Why are the commander level ones called mature and not adult? You said you would explain why you were thrown into Rura Pente. I am a diplomat. My peaceful words were called treason. How can there be peace? We are at war! Thanks to the Undine and the Iconians. You've clearly never read the works of Chancellor Gorkov. <laughs> now, let me ask you a question. How can we win a war if we can't stop fighting one another? Honor must be upheld. Kimtar's got a point. words of a warrior. Still, killing one another for honor blinds us to greater threats. Oh, that is so very true. I mean, let's be honest, he's got a point. That's why the Klingon Empire never wins a war. Internal feuding. They're only Slightly united at the best of times. There he is! Impressive. Your determination is commendable. You're not getting away this time. There's more at stake here than dealing with a lone human on a mission of mercy. In fact, our intelligence says you have very little time left to act. Act on what? Our friend here discovered that one of the great houses is plotting against the Empire. He's correct but his curiosity cost him. Now you and Alexander, I'm sorry, Kemtar, will both have a chance for glory. Kemtar, your father still has friends in the Federation. They believe he's in great danger. I recommend a trip to the Vor system. There you'll find out just how big of a mess you're in and find the proof that Worf will want. <laughs> friends, what an understatement. The crew of the Enterprise does not abandon one another, and, I mean, Picard pretty much showed that. Picard goes to Nepenthe to visit Troy and Riker, who are now married. They give unconditional support, because, well, in real life, these guys are, actu they are actually really good friends. I don't. He and I have never met. But as I told you, the story is complicated. What you need to know is that he speaks the truth. There is a plot against the Empire, and it is not the Federation's doing. Our true enemies are closer than we realize. If we want to protect our people, we must go to the Vor system and see what is there. I don't care if you trust me. Kemtar, tell your father that obligations have been met. Only you can decide how you'll deal with the greater threat. And what would that be? The only threat you should be worried about is me. Oh. You're a miserable Karut. Not only have you broken penal colony protocol, but you've meddled in the affairs of House Tor. I don't care if Kemtar is innocent. We were paid a great deal of latinum to keep this piece of Bakhtar locked up. He's not leaving here, and neither are you. That's what you think, That's buddy. If Rogaz can fight us, we can expect more guards soon. You must have a ship in orbit. We should beam up as soon as possible and discuss what has happened. We read you, Captain. What are your orders? Bring me up. We can't get a lock on your position, Captain. You must still be within range of the magnetic field. Lovely. We will bring the ship down to the surface to pick you up, Captain. <laughs> if we head for higher ground, 
it will be easier for your ship to locate us. Alrighty then. Up we go. Look up ahead. The warden and the guards are approaching. You dishonorable dog! When the High Council hears what Jempak's representatives have done here today, they will order your immediate execution. That's what you think. Enough to keep us warm long after you're dead. We get paid whether Kemtar lives or dies. So before I kill you, I'll offer you the coward's choice of surrender! You did forget that I came here in a starship, right? What am I forgetting, Tosha? Well, it's not the right one, but it works. Getting end to a band of dishonorable fools. I trust you're ready to leave this freezing, miserable place, Captain. In many ways, I think Rurapente is worse than Grethor itself. Well, it's certainly colder. Drake said we should go to the Vor system. What would we possibly find there? Whatever is there, it is a threat to the Klingon Empire. We must find evidence to show the Council. Transporter room is standing by, Captain. We're ready to bring you aboard at your command. Beam me up. Your report on Warden Kratak and the prison riot was disturbing. I have transferred many prisoners to Urapenthe. And this is the first I've heard of corruption. As you know, the Empire does not tolerate fraud or dishonesty. I accept your resolution to the matter. But I am displeased that you did not apprehend Drake. The fact you freed Kimtar also requires scrutiny. If Kimtar were not Ambassador Worf's son, I would demand that you return him to First City at once. However, if you believe there's evidence of further corruption, you have my authorization to pursue this matter discreetly. <laughs> further corruption? This is the Klingon Empire. It's nothing but corrupt. From the top down. It's gonna collapse sooner or later. Housecoat Gaming, signing off.